Howdy folks, uh, welcome back to another episode. Uh, it's Friday, on my own for the first part of the day. Holly will join me later, because I'm only on the other side of the A52. Obviously we live in Nottingham, we're in Derby. Yeah, I know, I know. But we don't make this pub crawl about football, do we? We make this pub crawl about visiting the best pubs available, wherever they are, whatever city. And in all honesty, Derby has some of the greatest pubs anywhere in the country. So I'm looking forward to it. My record day ever was 29 pubs in one day. My list for today's got 24 on it. But who knows? We might uh, we might try and crack that record today. So just got off the train. Uh, train station just up there behind me. And my first port is going to be the Brunswick Inn, which is an absolute belter of a pub. Uh, did their own brewing and stuff like that as well. Just up from the station. Not a better place to start. Wicked pub. Looking forward to today. Let's bring it on. Honestly, what a phenomenally belt in pubs. It's 16 real ales, plenty of Perry ciders and things like that. It's just, it, they've got everything covered. So, no wonder they win Camera Pub of the Year for Derby and stuff all the time. Look so, some of these bits on here are phenomenal. And it never changes. It's always wicked. No matter what you come in, whatever they've got on in it is top notch. There's another whole row of real ales and things like that on there. Just absolutely brilliant place. That's what I've got. But it's just a, it's just a fantastic pub. Beautiful, beautiful old place. And down this end is where they do all their own brewing. Look at these corridors, the stone floors. They're just beautiful, aren't they? What a place this is to start. So it's Brunswick Brewery, and that's where the magic happens in there, down at the end of the pub. But yeah, you can't go wrong with a wicked pub. Honestly, that is a truly magnificent pub. It's one of my favourite pubs in the whole of the country, not just in Derby. It's just, it's just mega. The beer choices, the, the ambience of the pub, the look of it, or, you know, it's just phenomenal. Um, and it really isn't far to walk for my second stop either. You see me just come out of there, and this is my second stop. The Alexandra Hotel, all the Castle Rock branding and stuff, but classic Castle Rock pub anymore. It's now a managed house, from what I remember. But please be back in here, stop two. Beer selection in here, magnificent. Gonna try this uh, pilot project, Cranberry Orange Sour. Well, they've got some wicked beers on, as always. So yeah, let's, let's try this sour. Half a uh, pilot project, cranberry orange sour. Oh, that is magnificent. Very impressive. Very happy, very happy day. It's a, it's a great dark horse over in the corner. Or it's just a, it's another great pub. This old school, no fret. Uh, the other bar's got like camera awards and things from years gone by all over the walls. So it's always been a staple of the Derby drinking scene. Still is great pub. Right, it's been about a 12 minute walk, uh, which is not too bad. Two, stop number three, the Smithfield. I've never done this one. So this is a new pub on me. Uh, I've got quite a lot of new ones to do today, actually. Highly recommended highly shouted out by people about how good this one is uh cask and keg ale stuff like that they do live music and things as well wicked pub by all accounts so very much looking forward to doing it the rain has stopped but i'm not going to tempt fate see oh my I mean, the sun almost came out for a minute if the rain does stop that's a great thing i'm not going to get wet again but if the sun comes out i am going to sweat my tits off wearing this hoodie i mean i could do to lose a few pounds i suppose so it might not be the end of the world anyway the smithfield up number three I exactly understand why this is shouted out by so many people. Look at the, look at the selection of the ales. I've gone for half of this. Spot on. Very, very nice. Is that there, look. I'm not, I'm not dripping out. And the bass for those who love it. And some craft cans you can see down there in the fridge, look. Wicked little place, this. And they do have an awful lot of live music on. All the way through. Great little pub. Great little pub. Thanks for shouting out. Top people in Smithfield, top pub, top people. Uh, and I met Barney, he's a bit of a local legend. Like, he, honestly, what a nice chap. One of the one of the regulars in there, obviously. Uh, had a selfie with him and everything. I feel, I feel honored. No, what, a, what a nice chap, what a lovely pub. I, I loved everything about the Smithfield. So three minute walk, then brings me the Exeter Arms, which is another new one on me, second new one of the day. So uh, if the, the president for new pubs of the day, this should also be absolutely banging. Exit her arm, stop for. Oh, that pub is beautiful in here. Like, I, wasn't I walked through the door, I wasn't expecting something. It's a corner pub, I wasn't expecting it to be so beautiful. But it really is absolutely stunning in here. It's in that pub, I should spent King of Lager on, Estrella. Sea cider. Some great stuff, including Dancing Duck's own. I'm just going to nip round you, sir. Yeah. There we go, don't mind me. Of course. So I've gone for half an A up in here, and I'm trying to say it. I'm trying my best. A up. 
you know, I can I can kind of get it. Yeah, bar snacks. It's, it's beautiful in here. Look at this. Look at what a gorgeous, gorgeous pub this is. Highly impressed. Don't know why I've never been here before. I'll definitely be back. I'm mega blown away by the extra arms. It's literally, you look to the outside, I wasn't expecting much, and it's beautiful. Dancing Duck of, uh, yeah, they've got a, got a beautiful pub there. Absolute treat. So I'm on the outskirts, sort of over into the city centre bit, going that way, but I'm not going to go quite as far as that, because I'm stopping. I'm going in here, Derby Brewing Tap House on the corner. Again, funny old shape building there. Right on the corner of a street. Uh, again, new one on me, third new one of the day so far. Never done it before, but I do love a good brewing tap house. And as I said, I'm having such a good day already so far. Big things expected. Uh, new beer on me in here. Uh, new brewer as well. Phantom Brewing. Uh, this is called Evergreen. Uh, it, it, all I can liken it to, Ryan, said, uh, Ryan behind the bar said the same. It's, it's very verdant, putty. Taste, texture, all of it. It's, it's superb. Never had of them before. Really impressed with it. Mm. But just look at this place, man. This is again. This is a. This is a, another absolutely wicked pub on this. Uh, on this thing. That's what I've gone for. The Evergreen. They are Phantom Brewing. So I also look them up. It is absolutely great. Ryan did break my heart when he came in because the Vault City Sour that they had, I was just run out. So you know, I've had to try something new, and I'm damn glad that I have because it's actually pretty damn special. And I would just have gone for the old. I would have gone for the old favourite, as you know. So dog friendly as well. But what a what a wicked place. I'm finding all the gems for you today. Thank me later. Uh, again, what a wicked pub that is. So, Sister Pub of the Greyhound, apparently, in Derby, which is a phenomenal pub. Uh, we've done it. I've, I've been to Greyhound loads of times, but I absolutely think it's, it's such a great pub. Sister Pub, I'm blown away so far by all five fantastic places. So, this is this is one that I, it's not on my list. Reopening, it's been shut for a while, the Tavern on Corner. So, I've never been in here, but it's just down the road from the Peacock, which is my next stop anyway. So, I figured, why not? Let's, uh, let's get near to this 30 number already. So, the Tavern is going to be stop number six. Definitely more of a, a local spot. They've got A up uh, from Dancing Duck on, on a handful. Um, decent spirit selection stuff in here as well. Friendly service. Nice sit reopen to be honest, because any pub closed down is not a good thing. The, the work guys after work and stuff got a pool table, dartboard. Um, it's decent enough to be honest, and I, I really hope they get some success and it stays open this time. Right, it's less than a minute uh, to walk straight down the, the side street to this massive, such a busy road, this road that goes through Derby and the flyover and everything like that. But on the, on the side street, right by it, it's the Peacock. This is a beautiful looking little pub. I love these old stone stone pubs like this. This has got a really good reputation of great things that I've never been in. So very much looking forward to, uh, to doing this. That's stop number seven, Peacock. Pub. So uh, the guys that have taken it, they took it over a week ago. So I wish them every success. It's a lovely little pub. They've got some absolutely wicked stuff on his hands. Look at Club Trop. I didn't go for it. I didn't go for it because I went with, I went with the Mango Lilies. Because you know I love a good Lilies. And I need to keep my palate going. But yeah, nice little second room down the back of this. Keeping it nice and warm. Lovely little pub. I can't comment on the Derby County memorabilia because, you know, I'll get shot by somebody somewhere. Little pub. Uh, took, it over, took it over a week ago. Wish them every success with it. It's a, it's a top, top little place. Right. Uh, love the peacock. Again, lovely people. Um, my next stop is the furnace. Uh, and this is the epitome, I suppose, of what you would say is a housing estate. But by, <laughs> absolutely surrounded by houses, flats, things like that. Couldn't be better as long as it appeals to the people, the locals and where it is. So Furnace Brew Pub, here it is. Uh, I love a brew pub. Been in a few good ones already today. Furnace Inn is gonna be my eighth stop of the day. I'm well looking forward to it. It's not often I'm left bemused and speechless by the location of a pub and then the absolute quality of the beer they've got in here, but this is amazing. Honestly, the quality of the beer they've got on the tap. Pop on for half of this, bring you drink whilst nice and shiny. Yeah, a wealth of, of ales and ciders and everything else. And it's just a, this is a normal pub in, in the middle of a house doing phenomenal craft beers and ales. I'm stunned. This is amazing. Shiny brewery. I'm still, I'm still stunned by the furnace. Uh, I've got a seven minute walk to the five lamps. Google didn't mention anything about this. Look at that. I mean, the incline doesn't even look that bad on my video, but trust me, in real life. Oh, I think, thanks, Harry. I hate inclines. Well, the good news is I made it and I'm still alive. But... Ever since Steep Hill in Lincoln, it's called Steep Hill, and believe me, when Google says something's a steep hill, you listen. You listen to Google. Ever since Steep Hill, I've, I've had a fear of like even gradual inclines, and that was more than a gradual incline. I weren't friendly, but. Right, it, the whole walk has been seven minutes total, including the incline, which I probably could have walked faster if I was a normal human being and didn't drink four days a week. So it's not that far. But here, this is my furthest point from the city centre bit 
to do later on. Five lamps. I couldn't not come up here because it's just an amazing pub run by amazing people. Um, I love this place. I'm on the walk back towards the city centre now. So that's the outskirts bit done for me. Let's go on with five lamps, which is actually stop number nine of the day. So I'm nearly in double figures as well. Uh, it's still light and everything. It won't be when I come out of here, I'm sure, but yeah, five lamps up next. This place, this place had its refurb. It's been one of the greatest pubs ever to grace the pub circuit of anything. They've got, a, again, an absolute plethora of, uh, of ales and stuff on. I've got, I've got another sour, another sour. So this is Tartan Typhoon in here, but just look at some of the craft offerings. You've gone in here. Phenomenal choices. Some of the stuff on the on the ales as well. Just magnificent choices from from some of the greatest breweries like Shiny, Alter Ego, Oakham, Dancing Duck. Obviously, the local. But yeah, what a what a wicked pub this truly is in general. With and there are even there's even pork pie on the bar that you can uh, that you can have some of. It's just. I love this place. This sour's magnificent. I love this pub in general. And yeah, free pork pie on the bar. That's helped me out massively. It really has. I love everything about Five Labs. I love the beer selection. I love the people. I love the, I love the customers. They're all so friendly. It's just such a nice boozer. And I said that refurb did it a world of good. It really did. Like it bought it bought such a nice pub anyway. It brought it back to life, and it's so nice to see. But I also love old historic boozers. You know that. I mean, it doesn't get much more old and historic in Derby than the seven stars. Look at that. 1680, this has been here since. What a beauty, it truly is. Uneven floors, wonderful layout and stuff in it. It's just a, it's a wicked pub, so. I'm on, the, I'm on the walk back into the city center, thank God, because I'm fed up with the outskirts. Seven stars, it's pub number 10 of me day. It's such an old historic pub. Look at this, this is unique. Mineshaft, stood literally just by the bar. That's where the bar is. Look at that, that beautiful thing, isn't it? Stuff on the, uh, on the they've, got, they've got three real ales on around the other side as well. That is a, a lovely little snug room and stuff around, around the side as well. Gorgeous pub, gorgeous pub, always friendly. A little bit of history in it, and I love a little bit of history. This is, this is such a phenomenal life. Great booze that we stood in. How many pubs can you stand in and say you're actually stood on top of an old mine shaft? Not many. You can see down a, a mine well in the, the Bell in Nottingham. But yeah, there, are, there aren't many more that I've seen that have got that kind of thing, like, especially that close to the bar, it's wicked really. It really is a wicked, <laughs> a wicked little thing to have a feature in a pub. 16 eight, so what a, what a pub that is. So, just down from there, two minute walk, down the, down the side. Again, if you didn't know it was here, this would be a hidden gem, but people do know it's here, and that's why this is so popular with students. So popular with everybody, really, because it's such a banging pub to bless. This is my 11th, I think, stop of the day. I'll find out when I get in there. I think it's 11. So I'm doing all right. Uh, glad to be back in here, because I loved it. Up next, bless. Uh, cut the real out. Camden Hell's always a popular choice, most places. And we've got net oil on, around this side. Okay, you see, it's popular with students and everyone else alike, really. They do like, absolutely, they do an absolutely wicked pizza offering and stuff that you can literally, you can sit and watch the pizzas be cooked from the station up here on the back. Wicked thing to see, but it's a, it's a top, great place. So it's, it's not just students, it's, it's everybody. Everybody loves this pub, and I totally understand why. Great boozer. Hey, it's dark, night's upon us. That's how I know I've been out a while when I've done 11 pubs and it's been light and then I get to pub number 12 and suddenly it's dark. Oh well. Right, stop. Flower pot. What a week. This is a proper music pub. Like, look at some of the, uh, some of the stuff they've on, or I've got on in here. Always a oh, wicked. The blue tongues, I remember them from when I was a, yeah, I, I used to love the indie stuff. So, yeah, they, I mean, the upbeat Beatles, whatever you want. You'll find it here at the Flower Pot. Well worth checking that out. So it's a, it's a uh, proper, proper Derby staple music pub. But they've already messaged on the Facebook page and someone that they've got Stupid by uh, by Vault City on, on the taps as if I wasn't excited enough to be back here already. Well excited to be here now. Flower Pot's number 12. I was taunted, I was taunted by the social media manager, the manager of here, saying that they've got Vault City Stupid on, which is which is honestly probably the greatest Vault City has ever been. I got here, but look at some of the... At least the beers are alright, so that bulb city is stupid, it is, it is stupid, it really is, it's beautiful, beyond belief, 
a wealth of real ales and stuff on in it. And it, it's, it's ever changing, but they have some they have some of the best beers going again in the town in here. The live the live music adds to the fact that it's such a wicked venue anyway. But it's just a it's a lovely pub, wicked venue. The music stuff really does add to it. So look at the tribute bands, the real the real things, the, the thing. Great garden they've got on and stuff as well. I love um I'm so grateful to have had a, a Vault City stupid on a on a tap. So great pub, great people. Can't say fairer than that, can you? Honestly, I adore the flower pub. I think it's such a, it's a, such a great pub. So the, the music mix with the with the beer choice and the, and the staff, it's just a wicked place, all rounds. Really is. So honestly, the, the the wealth of drinking establishments in Derby is it's second to none. I think honestly, in the in the whole country. But uh, up next, pub number thirteen. Unlucky for some, not unlucky for me, because it is this beauty, the Yale Dolphin Inn. So this is Derby's oldest pub, we believe. From the year 1530, Yale uh, Dolphin Inn. It's for, again, look at, just look at the exterior of this. What a beaut. Can't go wrong with a bit of history mixed in with the beers I'm having, can you? Dolphin Inn up next. You can, you've got, you can feel the history and stuff, can't you, in this pub? You've got, you've got the ales and everything else on, as well as. So yeah, let's have a, have a proper look at the ales. Come on. Decent room and stuff, this is the main room. And then we come out of the main room. And so just look down the, look down the corridor. Some of this, that corridor, stone floor and stuff. That's a, that's a snug room. We've got another room, big garden and stuff on the back as well. Another room around the back. That's the, that's where the cellar is. Just look at the windows. Like the history of this place. Obviously old outhouse style toilets that like you'd expect. Just a wicked pub all around really. Come straight out the side door of the historic Dolphin. It really is historic, isn't it? And sat in the corner is the old silk mill. I mean, it tells you it is now the name that it was an old silk mill. Beautiful old building again, sat on a corner. Can't go wrong with that really, can you? There are some beautiful, historic boozers around this part of Derby. Love it. Sorry, Cop, I'm, uh, so I'm trying to pick the pace up, I'm trying to get faster, so I'm so far behind of what I should be at. Great stuff on the tap in here. It's a wicked old pub as well. It is, it's honestly, it's a wicked old pub. It's got a dining, a dining space up to the back. It's a, it's, it's a great feeling. Oh, love it. I'm having a tequila rose. Need it Right, occasionally you try and pick the pace up and pubs rob you. Four pounds for a shot of tequila rose in there. Four pounds. Should probably change the name from the old silk mill to the Dick Turpin. So they're going to rob people like that, but yeah. Four pounds for a shot of tequila rose. You can buy a bottle of that for 13 quid in Morrison's. That is, yeah, that is extortion. That's probably the most extortionate shot of a rad, but trying to pick the pace up because I know I'm behind. I've got a lot to do. As you say, stand in order. Weather spoons. One of two weather spoons. I'm there tonight. Uh, obviously an old bank, as the name suggests. Massive great booze of this, always busy. Uh, stop 15, halfway if I'm gonna do 30, and I'm trying, I'm definitely trying. You wanna talk about spoons, pubs. It doesn't, I mean, they don't get much grand in this. Uh, obviously an old former bank house, as I said, and just look at it. How grand, how grand the pub is that? And the, the carpet is pretty damn good too. To be honest, uh, always it's always slow service. It's always busy. It's always slow. And I said I, I, I've gr jumped on the only table that's available. Shite, shite way of clearing. I always had a problem with that. Time to get a drink in here, but how slow everything is, and it's still pretty slow. I'm just having a, a quick shot in here as well, so I'm picking your pace up. So I've had a beer and stuff in here already, but you can't knock the surroundings. It, it's, it's a gorgeous old building. It's grand. You can't say you can't say it's not grand, can you? Uh, it, is, it is what it is. So, but not on my list. But I've never been in, so. I mean, I've got to be honest, the music doesn't really sound up my street, but you know what, I'm, I'm up for, I'll try anything once. So I've never been in Jorix, uh, but I'm going to do it now. So it looks like, right there, just down from the, the weather spoon is just there in front of the, uh, the grand old thing. So yeah, the music doesn't necessarily float my boat, but never done Jorix before. So yeah, why not? I'm trying to bit this dirty, anyway. Honestly, I quite like it here, actually. It's all right. I'm, 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 I'm,
the layout is still walkable and it's like you're not gonna find you're not gonna find real house and stuff like that on but you're gonna find a decent enough thing on the taps it is all right it's all right now actually right long trek but on to spoons number two wasn't gonna do this one but they uh someone somebody works in a message saying could we could, could we come and do it uh yeah i'm happy to do it get another spoons photo carpet don't I then so carpet photo why can't i talk get another spoons carpet photo i don't know why anybody watches my videos it must have been all incoherent nonsense by now. Um, right, this one. Oh, classic spoons, uh, Barrington Arms. Still the carpet's like, been in that before, but it's why right. Barrington Arms up next. I'm also supposed to be meeting that, um, that woman that I apparently married in it. She's in here already. Apparently, we're married. Holly, I think her name is. She's in there somewhere. It's all spoons, this. Uh, Decent enough carpet. I mean, it's not that not terrible, is it? More of an old school spoons, old school layer, old school, uh, just old school everything. Like, this is what you expect the spoons to look like, not necessarily the standing order. This is the, I'd say this is the, the more classic spoons of Derby over the other one. But yeah, walked up here, so. But they uh, got some decent guests on at the moment, you know, to be honest. So, can't really go, can't really go with that, can't really knock it. Second spoons in the bag. So, uh, so uh, John, you might remember John. He's, he's been in one of the videos before. John's here, and look, my wife. Look, she's Hi. here. She decided to actually make an appearance. Nice of yeah. you to turn up. Just found us by a skip, didn't you? Mate? Found us by a skip. If, if that's what you call Weber spoons, I found them in Weber spoons. But yeah, uh, I would not call it a skip. It was alright in there, to be fair. But never done this one before, so we're on a walk back. Um, twenty-five on my list of twenty-four plus one that I hadn't done or wasn't on the list of tavern. Twenty-five. This is one that wasn't on my list, never. Ryan's Bar, apparently. Um, I've walked past this a million times at times when it wasn't open. So I'm quite interested to see what it's like. Irish Bar by the looks of things. And we are on St Paddy's Day weekend. Ah, what a beautiful, what a beautiful what a way to sort of overlook this as well. So Ryan's Bar is my 19th sub of the day. Let's hit this 30. Honestly, Irish Bar's my favourite, you know that. They serve an absolute mean pint of Guinness over there. Wicked, wicked little thing. So I've never been in here, but I love that. I love that little sign up there. Never been in here before, but Paul sign us up up there. We got space at the back of this, isn't it? I love it. The sign above me, Ed. Where's the sign above me, Ed? Here we go. Right. The old man who is a Dublin up. Read it, me, because the, the, the thing ain't picking it up. Right. We'll do it. So. Through these doors, there are no strangers. Friends you get to meet. I like that. Do you get that? So through these doors, there are no strangers. Merely friends you're yet to meet. I make friends everywhere I go. Sometimes enemies will say the pub's crap, but you know me. I don't say that very often. I like a good pub call, and I like your pub, and this is definitely a good pub. Enjoyed rides, to be fair. Uh, again, I've walked past it. It's it funny opening now, so I've never actually, um, never actually been able to go in there. But oh, Tiger Bar open down this thing. So I've, again, I've never been in here, but it's uh, it's down a down a side alley. I say I've never been there now, I might have been there, but... Tiger Bar. Hi, this is my 20th stop of the day. Big day so far, plenty still to go though. Gotta love it in here, to be honest. They've got some real ales on, which I wouldn't, yeah. One of Dancing Ducks, two Tana, Pedigree. And old pits on. But I'm very impressed actually. I am... Um, side Street, Side Street Boozer. Side Street Boozer, you necessarily wouldn't nest, would think we'd have some real ales and stuff like that on. We're going to party vibe, late night venue and stuff, obviously, down the thing, but obviously the fish market, the old fish market. I actually, you know what, I quite like it. I can't, I can't walk past the bar, I've never been in, and without going in, the music in this sounds absolutely diabolical. Honestly, that's the crap you can hear coming out of it. Um, it's right next door to the old walk. It's called Bar Fusion. So this will be, this will be 21, I'm going to nip in here for a quick shot. But yeah, I can't, I, honestly, I can't even... This is definitely not my thing, is it? But, or yours, I'm sure. But yeah, I'm gonna do this. So make it 20, this will be 21. I've sent everybody out. I've said Holly and John, I said, go around there. Uh, 21's gonna be half you. The place itself, obviously, isn't that bad. Four pound, though, for a shot of Deadman Singers. Robin Bastards. Robin Bastards. Four quid for a shot of Dead Man's Fingers. Third time I've used it tonight, Robin Bastards. Uh, I knew, I knew I shouldn't go into somewhere playing drum and bass. I knew I shouldn't do it, but I did it because I've not done it. Four pound for a shot of Dead Man's Fingers. Dick Turpin wore a mask, man. Bar Fusion, they should mask up, they should mask up. However, right, I'm back down. I'm down, to, this is a serious boozer, this. Uh, this is a serious boozer. So this is the old Bell Hotel. And it is a beautiful, beautiful looking old gaffers. Tudor period. Um, lovely place. Not done it on the pub crawl yet, so it's a new one on the pub crawl. I have been in here before years and years ago. Beautiful place. 
this is so much more up my street than that bar fusion and yet yeah, four quid for a shot they can uh they can rot in my rectum because yeah that is a uh, i can't understand how anybody can charge four quid for a shot these days of something that's not even that alcoholic did it did it to pick me pace up and get the extra one in so i i, won't, I wouldn't go there again so i'll bet i'll tell next time you can't not love places like this. Oh, this is an old historic hotel. I'm talking like 16th century. Old hotel. It's wicked. I've gone for the uh, I've gone for the tropical in here. You've got a decent load of things to buy. And a plethora again of ales and stuff. Oh, and all sorts of other bits on before the tap. Great old bar. Great old bar. Plenty of history. Gotta love, the, gotta, gotta, love, gotta love a good ale selection. I like any of them. I'm glad to be here. First time I've done it. Chew the room at the back. Historic, good beer. What's not to like? Love the old bell. Little bit of history. Little bit, of, I, honestly, this street, we're, we're on the way around. I'm, I'm saying it's fashion slow. So that was 23. So 24, although the music in here sounds abysmal as well. But Number 24, Shakespeare. That is. That's my next portal. Uh, yeah, uh, two uh, two hundred yard is that walk from the uh, from the Albert Hotel. Chase, we're up next. Honestly, I'm impressed with some of the beer choices. Five bones, gamma ray, and Necro. All on the thing. Lewis choices. Bits of bit, bits of. These things so I wasn't necessarily expecting to find such good. Uh, so three Friday, three Beaver towns. Top on that. I'm happy with that. I quite like it. Here. Staff are friendly. Good gap actually. The good news is the rain started again. Uh, I've, I've done a runner to make sure I've made time to get to Suds and Soda because, shout it out to me, uh, this is Neon Raptor's secret bar in Derby apparently. And I love Neon Raptor. It's a, it's a wicked brewery. They do some wicked beers so I'm well excited to be in here. Never been here before so. Uh, stop 24 I think, Suds and Soda. I'm definitely in this 30s. I made it. Uh, and you're proud of me for making it because uh, I mean I could have missed it. I've just left everybody else behind. Some of the, uh, the can selection. So obviously, a bit heavy on the Neon Raptor. I've, I, I've gone for a bit of Fruity Rascal, and it is amazing. It's just as good on tap as it is out of the can as well, if not better, if I'm honest. And you can't go, can't go wrong, can you? With look at the Vault City offering sat in here. Look, look, hiding from it, the grape soda, we know about that. And that Danish berry pudding, and that wheat vault. We've done, we've done all of these, haven't we? We've talked about all of these at great length, people, so don't be, don't be judging me, but look at some of the, the beers they've got up on the board in here. Look at this. Can't, can't go wrong with this. I understand now why people shout out to craft beer, proper craft beer bar. Licenses stay up until 2.30 if they want to. Use it or lose it, people, because they've shut earlier if you're not here. And you should be here. Pretty damn cool. It's pretty damn cool. It's pretty wicked. I love it. And the, uh, yeah, the old Fruity Rascal. Look, told you. The old Neil Raptor Fruity Rascal that I did the other day. On the channel with uh, with a cam, it's even better on tap. Right, I'm on that mode now. Of I've got in this 39, so I've done 25. I've wandered down. I've had a bat sausage. Uh, I've wandered down, and I've I've come across. Uh, it's Southern Soda's amazing. Cross Stein Stross, it's called. Um, I mean, what do I want to say? Doesn't really look like my thing, does it? But you know, what? we're gonna go and have a quick. Try to have a quick shot in there, I think. That'll be, that'll be 26. And then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see where we go from there. We're, de we're definitely easily going to be at this 30, but yes, yeah, Stein Stross. We'll see. It's, not, it's number 26. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's not really my cover. He's certainly doing his thing. Honestly, you know it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's far too loud for me to film it, obviously. But I mean, they're having a party. It's... The the DJ did manage to mix uh, Sean Paul's temperature into Eurythmic Sweet Dreams. And it actually worked. Then I've been in work. That was Stanch That was actually 25. My counting was one out, so that was 25. Next is going to be 20. Best of Hardwick. This is Pub 26. We're still going to win this day, but yeah, best of our week 26. I mean, I've got a landing pile up. I'm going to have a quick shot in here. Uh, get out. So, bye, bye, Amazon. Bye, 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 bye
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.